Okay, so let's recap where we are. Um, right now, we just finished up our lane lines. If we um, get rid of the comments here, or, uh, we commented that out, you'll see that we've now got clouds, we've got birds. Uh, the birds are currently being drawn behind the buildings, which we can fix that by just cutting the skyline and moving it in front of the birds. Ah, you can see our birds are now puffy birds. Um, so that's another good thing is that every time that we create a function, we should really um, put in every parameter that we need to put in for each of those things. So in this case, we need to go back and change our pin, pin width of our birds back to one um, before we draw them. There we go. Our birds are back to normal. And you can see that we put our birds in our sky there. Perfect. Um, now we're going to, uh, let's draw some trees. Uh, let's put a little happy tree over here somewhere. So um, I'm going to put a tree like starting about right here. We're going to go up and then we're going to put dots um, for kind of random green colors uh, for the, the leaves and just kind of do a bunch of dots. In a in an area for that. So uh, let's do a pin up. We'll do a move to, and we're gonna go. This is I think 300, so we're gonna go about 305 <clears throat> for our y value, and our x value we're just gonna put about 50. We then want to change our pin width. Gonna make that. Let's do five. And then we're going to do a turn to. That way we know that we're straight up and down. We're going to do a pin color. And I'm going to go into color picker. So now we're going to pick a brown. So this looks pretty good. So I'm going to copy that and paste that in here. And then let's just do a move forward for 25 pixels and let's see what we have here oh yeah usually it helps to do a pin down I forget that a lot let's try this there we go so there's our tree um, I'm gonna move it back just a couple pixels there we go it's more in the middle of that area this looks pretty good um, now what I want to do is I want to do a series of uh, dots around the tree. Um, so I essentially just want to do a dot of random size, um, but I want to change the color of that. So I'm going to do an RGB before I do the dot. and. Let's go into color picker again and let's look at some green. Um, so I really want a bunch of different shades of green, you know, from here, basically all the way from here, this color. So I've got 15, 133, 32 up to this. So if I look at roughly percentages, if I go with this value, this is about a fifth of that. And this number is, you know, maybe, so this goes, this may be a half. So it would essentially be along this line. So we could do this as a half and this is a third of this RGB value. And we could essentially go from a value of really 100 uh, up to 250 for my green. So that's how I'm going to put this in here is I'm going to create a variable called uh, random green and I'm going to do a random number between 100 and 250 and then here this is going to be random green divided by 3 this is going to be random green and this one is going to be random green divided by two and it's going to put a dot 
and there we go. You can see that that dot changes color. Okay, I like that. Um, now I need to kind of do a cluster of dots around this. So, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to put this in a for loop. And I'm going to do it for as big as the tree is. So I'm going to do 25 little dots. I'm going to be random in color. And I'm going to make them random in size. Between 3 and 5. And then I need to move to a new location to do another one. So when I do my move to... I'm going to go 50 plus a random number between negative half the width. So since it's uh, 25, so we'll do like negative 12 to positive 12 on that. And I'm going to do the same thing. So what this is going to do is it's going to move it on the x plus 12 and minus 12 from the top of the item which is actually not 303 it's gonna be 303 minus 25 um, so it's gonna randomly put a pick a value between you know 38 and 62 so it's gonna go side to side here and drop a dot and then it's also gonna go at the top here it's gonna go down 12 and up 12 and drop a dot so let's see what this looks like um, and there you go so you get kind of this bunch of um, and I kind of like that. I mean, that's, that's a decent looking tree for what it is. Um, if you want to make your trees taller, you could change this move forward. But then if you notice, like this is going to be, it's going to be just this little plume on top of a long stick. So we're going to have to create some variables here for this, um, this tree as well. So let's do another variable called tree height. And let's make it a random number between 25 and let's do 75 just for kicks. We'll see how tall that tree is. We're going to move forward the tree height. And then if you look at these numbers, this is going to be tree height divided by 2. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here. I'm going to come down here and paste it. I'm going to paste it again. And now this number is tree height. And let's try this. Oh, so see how it moves to? We're getting all these lines from the move to. So right after our dot, we could actually um, bring our pin up once we draw our um, the trunk. We don't really need that pin up to be there for. Okay, so now, okay, this tree looks pretty good, um, but the larger the tree is, the more sparse this is. These dots looks kind of weird, um, but the small trees look great. They've got a you know a cluster but the, the large ones look terrible um, so if you look at this that looks fine to me um, this looks okay but the the big ones are, are not so good so what we could do is we could actually make it so that there's more dots depending on how tall of a tree it is so we can actually just increase uh, the, the I value based on tree height so you can see now these trees look a little fuller and we could almost do that doesn't look too bad. Um, well, let's do tree height times two. Let's see if we can fill those in a little bit more. There we go. That looks that looks really good to me. Cool. So there is 
a tree. Again, let's move it into a function. So we could call this draw a tree. Cut all that out of there. Paste it into here. Use your tab feature. Okay, so now I want to actually create another function that's called draw all trees. And then I'm going to use this parameter to then say how many trees to draw. So with that, I'm going to use a for loop to iterate num tree. And then I'm going to draw a tree. And I need to give it an x coordinate. So I'm going to do a random number between 20 and 300. Then I'm going to pass draw tree. And it's not going to like that because draw tree does not have here. So I'm going to give this an x value. And then I'm going to move to x which is then going to change this value to x as well. And then we've got a call draw all trees. And let's do five to start with. Looks pretty good. Let's do 15. I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to make this 10. I'm going to make the height, I think they're a little too tall. So I'm going to go 50 on that. Yeah, that looks good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way those turned out for trees. Cool. So there's, there's uh, your trees. So now we've got trees. We have our cityscape. We've got birds and clouds. Now we're going to just mess with the water feature um, down below. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put a concrete little barrier right here. Um, to separate the water from the road. So I'm going to do a like a darker strip and then a lighter strip underneath to kind of simulate that. Um, and I'm just going to do that right here um, in my draw road. I'm going to make it part of that function. So I'm just going to modify this a little bit. Um, I'm going to copy this code, paste it, and then paste it again. But this time, instead of move to 0, 330, I'm going to move down here to 340, or actually 335. So it's only going to be five tall for this one. And um, I guess it would be this one, 335 for this one. Actually, I'm going to make this one too tall. So it's going to be 332. This is going to be the, uh, the dark kind of shadow. And then this one's going to move to 3. Um, 37. This one's going to be five tall, and this is going to be the light kind of concrete. So let me get some colors here on my color picker. So light concrete is going to be like this. And then my darker shadow like this. Let's see what this does. Um, okay, that didn't go where I wanted it. Um, let's move this to three forty. 